Hey there YouTube, Alana here from teachtraffic.com and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a strategy. It's actually one of my favorite strategies for targeting on YouTube, which is targeting specific video URLs which are on YouTube for you to show your ad in front of with in-stream ads. As I said, it's one of my favorite targeting techniques and if you like this video, uh, be sure to hit the, the thumbs up icon and you can also subscribe to our Teach Traffic channel where I share all about traffic generating techniques that are working in my agency. Let, so let's get stuck right into this video. Okay, so here I have actually a campaign which I have been running for a while. I've used an old date range just to sort of protect a bit of data integrity and sort of going back 2019 to early 2020. All right, and this campaign is targeting specific video URLs on YouTube. So instead of me saying to Google, hey Google, here's keywords that I want to go after or specific types of people I want to target, you go and find me videos to show my ad in front of. It's not that strategy. The strategy that this is, is that I've done the research on YouTube. I have found videos that I believe would be a really good fit for who my target audience is and what my ad is talking about. I've worked out what video URLs they are, what videos, and therefore I've said to Google, I only want to show my ads on these specific videos. It's one of my favorite ways to start with YouTube ads for a few reasons. The first reason, it's a really, really good way to test if my ad is actually going to convert people, if they're actually going to click on my ad and um, if if it's sort of an enticing ad for people. If this, if I do this strategy and no one clicks on my ad, then there's a sign actually that I need to change my ad rather than change my targeting. Okay, so it's a good way to test if your ad works. And the second reason I love this strategy is because it's a really good way to test if the offer is interesting to people. So if whatever I'm offering in my ad is enticing for people. I can have a look at what's called the conversion rate and see if these people actually convert to either leads or customers or whatever it is, is my goal from this strategy. Okay. So here we are in the campaign. I'm going to share with you some of the stats. So this chart here is showing the clicks versus conversions. And what I love about this strategy is that, I mean, look how tightly closely these those two lines are with each other They're so tightly correlated um, and so it's incredibly consistent I know when I get, get clicks I'm going to get a pretty consistent conversion rate so I get um, about a 28% view rate so those view a view rate is somebody who watches more than 30 seconds of my ad now you might be thinking that's quite a low view rate I personally think I don't mind having a low view rate because if um, if somebody is going to watch my ad, I pay for it. So if they're not interested in my ad, I actually want them to skip the ad, in which case my view rate comes down. I would be more concerned if it had a high view rate and a low conversion rate because then lots of people are watching it, but no one's really clicking on it and converting. Okay, I get about a four and a half percent click through rate but importantly the one metric which really is the most important metric and as somebody who has run a ppc agency for eight years now the metric that i live and breathe by within my agency and what i teach my students inside teachtraffic.com is all about the conversion rate so we're getting an almost seven percent conversion rate of the people who click on my ad. So let me just show you real quick in here. If I go into here, this ad group, I'm going to go to the placements. And this is going to show the ads that I'm targeting. And as you can see here, I've targeted a whole bunch of different ads. Now, in terms of ongoing management for this, I can turn certain placements on and off 
based on their performance okay so I might find that uh, certain placements convert at too high a rate and therefore I turn them off or some are going to work incredibly well in which case I can decide to keep them running that's a decision obviously that you need to make okay so I often start with a whole bunch of different placements test all of them at once see which ones convert better than others and then just kill the losers and double down on my winners okay so if you want to know how to create such a campaign and other strategies like this be sure to check out teachtraffic.com and if you like this video make sure you hit the thumbs up icon and you can also subscribe to this channel thanks so much for watching and i hope this video is helpful cheers